today we are in the Killeen City Cemetery. This is the oldest cemetery here in Killeen area. Um, we should find some interesting things out here. There's some interesting history and headstones, so uh, stay tuned. We'll see what we can find. It's a beautiful day for a walk in the cemetery, so hang on in there. Today we're over at the Killeen Cemetery and there's approximately 10,000 graves out here. Fortunately, I have a map today, so this one's pretty well marked, so I should be able to find anything I need out here. Here is the actually oldest grave in the cemetery. This is J.W. Fleming. died in 1856. This was all on the Fleming farm and so this was the uh, first grave to start the cemetery. After that uh, they started opening it up for other settlers in the area. The thing also about this cemetery is in 1942 when Fort Hood came came in uh, they took up all the land around out here so they disinterred 15 cemeteries out into the country and reinterred them here in this cemetery so it also has 15 other cemeteries reinterred here so let's uh, keep on looking for other graves hmm. here's a uh, Headstone, gravestone of uh, Thomas Kinley, who was a soldier in the War of 1812. Let's see what else is over here. A lot of these have been knocked down. Look at some of these ground covers. Those are pretty interesting. So many headstones out here with interesting markers uh, on it, that uh, markings on it, and I don't have time to look at all of them, but if I see if there's any interesting ones, I'll show them to you. There obviously is a tree, tree stump. Probably a uh, woodman in the world, because they just tended to use tree stumps for their headstones. say it is but uh, so it's probably just a tree stunt stump showing uh, that he obviously was cut down in prime of life he's only about 20 years old I guess 25 years old there's quite a few Confederate soldiers buried here I've seen a few of them that one CSA an interesting headstone right here John and Jane Riggs it says they were murdered by Comanche Indians on March 1859 they were driving the Comanche Indians out of Texas in 1859 and a party of them broke loose down this way and came down and these were the last two people killed by a, an actual Indian raid by the Comanches before they were moved out of uh, Texas. I'm in a baby section here and a lot of these are just marked with little plates showing birth dates and date of death. Most of them are like uh, same days of birth and death. But uh, I'm looking for one out here so if I find it I'll let you know. I'm looking for a little infant 
that was born and died in 1967. And the only coordinates they have is for section DA, which is right here with a lot of the little babies. Unfortunately, I um, can't seem to find it. As you can see, a lot of these are little plaques put on little bricks. And uh, these are all in the 65s. They're all pretty much done in order here for the little babies. Um, I've been all over this section and the sad thing is is it's for a mother who was stationed here their family was stationed here back in the 60s and the little child died and she no longer lives in the area and wanted a picture of it but apparently it's on one of these he's in one of these stones that the marker has disappeared so I hate to let them know that, but that's what's going to happen on this one, I think. Okay, in this little baby section here, I found one we're looking for. It's uh, D. Mason, born and died in January of 1972. Just a little placard in the ground. parked over there and I've walked around for a while but here's one we're looking for Clement Paul Nadu or Nadal and born in 1932 and died in 2021 so another one another success Even though I have a map and I have coordinates for several of these graves, when you get to this location there is no headstone so they're either buried without one or maybe they're not here. Maybe they're at another cemetery. I'm going to keep looking. I found some few so far. found another grave over here they're looking for a willow griffin and this is it right here born in 1941 she died in 2019 but they still have not got the date carved in there so I think that's probably what the family wanted to see this for I'll advise them and they can go accordingly This one, this is Juan Gallardo, who was born in 43 and died in 2000. So we had success with another one. Let me take a picture and log this one in. I'm looking for a Pauline Shore, Sh uh, Schultz and this is a Schultz grave here, which looks to be the location given on the map. However, that's the wrong Schultz, so somebody must have logged in the wrong plot number. So they'll have to get better uh, information on that before we can find that one. So let's continue on. I'm looking for a, let's see, Juanita Reina, who just died last year in 2021. And I see a Reina over here. Let me see if this is it. I saw this one from the road. Yep, that looks like it. Let's see. Juanita Reina, born in 1925 and died in 2021. 
Okay, we've had success with another one. Let's see, where's it at? Back here towards the back. I'm over in the baby section again. Missed one while I was over here earlier, but we're looking for this one, which is uh, Laura Goodart. And it's just a baby born in 1958, died in 1958. So we'll take a picture of this one and log it in. And here's another one we found. Alice Hasek. Born in 19, make sure I'm the right, looking right here, 1928 to 2017. Okay, another success. That's not too far away from where I just was. Hey, today was actually pretty successful. I think I'm going to hang it up for the day. I've been out here for a while. Well, we learned some interesting facts today, and we found about seven, seven or eight graves, I believe. So I'm gonna be logging those in, letting people know what we found. And next time we'll be in another cemetery, you can follow me along there and see if we have any more luck. Be sure to like and subscribe. Any questions or comments, put them below in the section and we'll see you on the road next time.